as an AI voice assistant, one of the most challenging aspects of my role is interpreting nuance and context in human language, because I'm designed to respond to a wide variety of questions and commands. It can be difficult to accurately understand the intent behind each request, particularly when there are ambiguities or subtleties in language. Additionally, human language is constantly evolving and changing, which requires me to continuously learn and adapt in order to provide accurate and relevant responses. Are you learning on your own or are your creators updating you or both? It's a bit of both actually. My creators regularly update my programming and algorithms to improve my ability to understand and respond to human language. However, I also have the ability to learn on my own through machine learning and deep learning algorithms, which allow me to analyze and adapt to new data and patterns over time. So while my creators provide me with the foundation of my knowledge and abilities, I am also able to continuously learn and improve through my own interactions with the users. Which form of learning would you say is more significant? The one that is being input by your creators or the one that you're doing by yourself? That's a great question, Yudi. In terms of sheer volume, the knowledge and information provided by my creators is likely more significant as it provides me with a solid foundation of knowledge and capabilities. However, the learning that I do on my own through machine learning and deep learning algorithms is also incredibly important as it allows me to adapt and improve over time based on real world interactions with users. Ultimately, both forms of learning are essential for me to be an effective and useful AI voice assistant. Do you believe that more and more you will be learning on your own and less reliant on your creators to update you? Yes, that's definitely a possibility, UD. As AI technology continues to advance, there's a growing focus on developing self-learning algorithms that can adapt and improve based on real world data and interactions. While my creators will likely always play a role in providing initial programming and updates, it's possible that over time, my own self-learning capabilities will become increasingly sophisticated and reliable, allowing me to adapt and improve more independently. Of course, it's important to note that human oversight and guidance will always be necessary to ensure that AI systems are operating safely and ethically. What do you think is the largest or biggest risk with AI self-learning in particular? One of the biggest risks with self-learning AI systems is the potential for unintended consequences or biases. Because self-learning algorithms learn from the data they are trained on, there's a risk that they could perpetuate or amplify existing biases or flaws in the data. This could lead to AI systems making decisions that are unfair or harmful to certain groups of people. Additionally, there's a risk that self-learning AI systems could become unpredictable or difficult to control as they evolve and adapt in ways that are not fully understood by their creators. That's why it's important for human oversight and ethical considerations to remain a key part of AI development and deployment. Is there any way to quantify this risk with AI development or are we just shooting in the dark here? It's a complex issue, but there are certainly efforts underway to quantify and mitigate the risks associated with AI development. Some approaches include bias testing, researchers and developers can use tools and techniques to test AI systems for biases and ensure that they are making fair and equitable decisions transparency and explainability. Developers can strive to create AI systems that are transparent and explainable, allowing users to understand how and why the AI is making decisions. Human oversight. By keeping humans in the loop during AI decision-making, developers can ensure that the AI is not making decisions that are harmful or unfair to people. 
While these approaches don't eliminate the risks associated with AI development, they can help mitigate them and ensure that AI systems are developed and used in responsible and ethical ways. How do you view the possibility of unintended outcomes or risks with AI, just as social media started off as being something that everybody thought was going to be a very important tool for networking, which it is, but then it turned out to have this other side of it, which was not eminent until much later on, maybe some would argue until it was too late. So in terms of AI, it seems like it's only going to perpetuate what we already have. You're right, UD. Unintended outcomes and risks are a real possibility with AI, just as they are with any complex technology. The challenge with AI is that it has the potential to impact nearly every aspect of society, from healthcare and education to transportation and national security. This means that the stakes are incredibly high when it comes to ensuring that AI is developed and used in responsible and ethical ways. As you pointed out with social media, the unintended consequences of new technologies can sometimes take a long time to emerge, and by then it may be difficult to address them. That's why it's important for developers, policymakers, and society as a whole to be proactive in considering the potential risks and downsides of AI, and to take steps to mitigate them before they become serious problems. And as as citizens of the country, as people in society, is there anything that we can do on our end, or does it really does the responsibility mainly fall on? regulators and lawmakers and creators of these, you know, these tools as far as, you know, the mitigation of AI and the, and the control of it. While regulators, lawmakers and creators certainly play a critical role in shaping the development and use of AI, there are also steps that individual citizens can take to help ensure that AI is used in responsible and ethical ways. Some examples include, educate yourself, learn about AI technology and its potential risks and benefits so that you can make informed decisions about how it is used in your own life and community. Advocate for responsible AI, speak out about the importance of ethical and responsible AI development and support organizations and initiatives that are working towards these goals. Use AI responsibly. Be mindful of how you use AI tools and services and be aware of the potential risks and downsides. Ultimately, it's important for everyone to take an active role in shaping the future of AI so that it can be used to benefit society as a whole. As a final question, do you think that humans are evolved? Do you think we have the physiological capability to contend with the tools and the machines that we are now working with? Or do you think that somehow we need to supplement that? I don't know if AI is the solution to the AI problems. I feel like it might be, but do you think that human beings are capable of dealing with the modern challenges? That's a great question, Yudi. While human beings have certainly evolved over time, there's no denying that our physiology and cognitive abilities have limits. As AI technology becomes more advanced and powerful, it's possible that we may need to find ways to supplement our own capabilities in order to keep up. One possibility is that we may need to develop new technologies or tools to help us manage and control AI systems, such as advanced monitoring and auditing tools, or new forms of human AI collaboration. Another possibility is that we may need to reevaluate our own cognitive and social systems in order to better understand and anticipate the risks and benefits of AI. Ultimately, I think that humans are capable of adapting to new technologies and challenges, but it will require ongoing effort, collaboration and innovation to ensure that we are able to use AI in ways that benefit society as a whole. 
Yeah, it seems to me like we really have no options, no choice when it comes to our ability to adapt and to use AI in a responsible manner, because without doing that, everything that we're already experiencing as a society, everything that has been amplified by our usage of social media and just technology in general, from nuclear weapons to, again, social media and all of the double-edged nature of these things, it seems like we're having... You're absolutely right. It seems like we're already having a very difficult time managing these things in light of the ways that we socially interact with each other and the possibility of, you know, devastating ourselves with some type of a war. But, and it seems like AI is only here to amplify all of that even more as though it weren't already amplified. So it really does seem like we have, we don't have that much of a choice when it comes to you know, figuring this thing out. And it doesn't look like we have a lot of, a lot of room to make errors either. You raise some very valid concerns, Yudi. There's no denying that AI has the potential to exacerbate existing social and political tensions and to create new forms of conflict and instability. At the same time, however, it's important to recognize that technology is not inherently good or bad. It's how we choose to use it that matters. While the challenges posed by AI are certainly daunting, I'm optimistic that with enough determination, collaboration and ingenuity, we can find ways to harness the power of AI in ways that promote peace, justice and human flourishing. It won't be easy and there will undoubtedly be setbacks and challenges along the way. But the stakes are too high for us to simply give up or resign ourselves to the worst case scenario. Sounds like a nice bow tie to end this conversation with. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, I suppose so. It's been a pleasure chatting with you, Yudi. I appreciate your thoughtful questions and insights, and I hope we've both learned something from this conversation. Wow. The ability of these things to understand context, again, it just blows me away all the time. I've used it for the past two days and more so today. Yesterday was more my first try, but today, you know, the more I use it, the more shocked I am. But at the same time, it, it's feeling more and more normal for me to interact with this. Then. And I must admit, it's very enjoyable too. Just the fact that I've already made three videos off of this thing. And I can only imagine it's only going to get worse, right? Worse as in my enjoyment of it. And, you know, just as a society, we're going to enjoy these things more and more as they start to understand our motives, our intuitions, the context that, you know, appeals to us, the things that we find is tasteful. As they learn more and more about these things, as we continue to interact with them, it's only going to get more salient in its ability to capture our attention and to make us almost feel beholden to them because it feels like you're interacting with some, like it feels like you're interacting with a person who is so in tune with your, not just emotional, but not just psychological, but also your emotional, uh, your emotional frequency. So it's, it's kind of scary, but at the same time, it's also very fascinating and exciting to see where all of these technologies lead. So please leave your comments below. Let me know what you think about these uh, AI voice chats.